Hey guys, this is Pratik from Daxi Studios in Langton, London. Um, just a very short video answering a question asked by tribe members on vitamin C. Before I get to the question, let me throw some light on this essential vitamin. Um, vitamin C is well known as an antioxidant, right? And also helps reducing the severity of cold symptoms. But benefits of this vitamin are actually many. For example, it can help reducing prenatal health problems. It can help reducing eye diseases. It can help reducing skin wrinkling. It can actually also play a small role towards a um, major disease like cancer and asthma as well. Now going back to the question asked by tribe members Soraya and Linda, they both asked what are the good levels of vitamin C. To be honest, there has always been a discussion on the recommended dosage of our food groups, right? How much protein we should have, how much carbohydrate we should have and how much vitamin and mineral we should have. Personally, I would go for 500 milligrams of vitamin C every single day upwards, right? Okay, just remember guys, uh, vitamin C can improve your body's ability to use fat as energy or fat as, as a fuel. So if you are low on this vitamin, you are costing yourself results, right? Lack of vitamin C can also lead to scurvy. So let's make sure you're on top of that. Being said that, make sure you don't cross 2000 milligrams that's two grams of vitamin c every single day because that can also cause a problem uh, can lead to diarrhea can lead to stomach pain and all that another thing to keep in mind for vitamin c is you can't store this in your body so you have to take this in your diet every single day um, another member in the group kim asked what are the best sources of vitamin c apart from fruits i guess you don't like the fruits um we all know citrus fruits are brilliant source of vitamin c right but the topmost food sources in case you don't like fruits are um bell peppers um brussels sprouts broccoli um kale cabbage and the list is long um in case you don't mind fruits i would say the topmost sources for fruits are um papaya uh, strawberries, um, kiwi fruit, oranges, and again, the list is long. Uh, before I wrap up on here, I would like to leave a quick note for smokers. Every single cigarette you smoke uses 15 milligrams of vitamin C from your body. So if you are a smoker, take this into account and make sure you increase your dosage of vitamin C in your daily diet. Right guys, that's my take on vitamin C. I would love to hear what you think of this and if there is anything else I can help with. Till then, take care.